Well, moving on now, Northern Territory leaders have faced off in a debate ahead of next month's election. Matt Cunningham moderated the debate. He joins us live now. Matt, we saw you up on stage with the leaders last hour and we dipped in to get a bit of a sense of how things were, were going. Did you feel like there was a clear winner at the end? Oh, probably too close to call. I think the audience probably uh, gave their vote to uh, Leah Finocchiaro, the leader of the opposition from the Country Liberal Party, but that's probably not... Uh, unexpected given it was a, a really business heavy crowd here today. I'm, I'm just going to bring in uh, Camden Smith who's the business editor at the NT News. Uh, Camden, what did you make of the debate? Did you think there was a clear winner? I don't, Matt. It was a tough call. Leah probably just sneaked over the line because she hasn't been in government for eight years. He Eva tried to make the point, the case that um, as the third chief minister uh, in this two term government and only in the job for six months that she's a fresh face and a new Room. She's going to have trouble prosecuting that. The big issues obviously up here are crime, um, getting major projects off the ground, population, um, debt. Th they were the issues that were canvassed during this debate. After eight years and with not a great track record, it's going to be easier for the opposition leader to make the case for change. What Eva did do though, she did make a point around the inexperience of the CLP. Lee has only very briefly been a minister in a, in a previous CLP government. Um, the six um, members they've got now, the six members they've got now, haven't been in, gov um, haven't been in government before. And of course, there's, to, to take a majority government, they'll need another seven seats. And Eva's saying it'll be very inexperienced. Um, Lee is, of course, trying to make the case. Lee of Nokiara is trying to make the case that. Um, they need a new broom. The Territory needs a new direction and a new broom. Yeah, I thought it was interesting that, that Leah Finocchiaro almost was the one trying to, to strike the more positive tone and, and Eva Lawler was the one sort of sledging, you know, across the aisle, which is perhaps the reverse of what we would expect to see, given you've got, uh, you know, a Chief Minister, an incumbent Chief Minister versus an opposition leader. But does that in some way say that the, the goalposts have shifted a bit since Eva Lawler became the Chief Minister last December? I mean, I, I think... Labor were on track for a catastrophic de defeat at that point. Do you, do you think the dial shifted a bit since then? I do, Matt. They, the, Labor were toast, in my view, in December last year. Then the change of leadership, um, Eva came in, and, and within a couple of days, I think the first interview she did was with you, talking about her um, pro-gas position. Um, she, she, within a couple of weeks after that, she brought in a curfew in Alice Springs, a controversial move, one that people have heard for years and years, uh, introducing curfews. Eva was the first politician I can ever recall bringing in a curfew. Uh, it was an effective curfew. It went for two weeks. Um, it, it was a circuit breaker. Um, and Leah's been in the job now as opposition leader for four years. And, you know, and she was also, as you brought up during the debate as well, um, a member of a very, very bad government, the previous CLP government from 2012 to 2016. Uh, they had four years. They were a disaster. Um, they finished up leaving, just having just two seats after the next election and Labor got the majority back. Um, yeah, Eva's, you know, Leah, sorry, Leah Finocchio has got a, a bit of work to do to make the case for government. Um, but of course, Eva Lawler has got a very strong, a very big case to make now, a very difficult case to make as to why Labor should get another four years. Yeah, it would be a Lazarus-like uh, victory if she manages to pull it off, Ash. Just 37 days now until Territorians go to the polls. August 24 is the election date. There'll be plenty of coverage here on Sky News between now and then. But it looks like it might be a closer run thing than we had previously expected. Yep, and the close ones are always fun to watch. Matt Cunningham, you'll be all over all the details as always. Thanks very much for the update.